I won't sit here and act like I know everything about the JRPG Trails series. In fact, I'm still playing through The Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel 4, so I understand why some have been turned off by the many entries of the series and opted to add them to their endless backlog with the intention of one day playing them. Well, Maybe. Anyway, by this point, Falcom has had many years of game releases, but not all of those titles have come west, one of which is the game Nayuta no Kiseki. Initially released in 2012 on PSP, this action RPG is coming west named The Legend of Nayuta Boundless Trails. Although it doesn't have any official connection to the Trail series, it does expand the scope of the universe for players to take their first steps into this fantasy world. Before we get into the video, we'd like to thank our Patreon supporters for making making this possible. Please take a second to check out patreon.com slash noisypixel to support independent game journalism. I was able to play through the English build of The Legend of Nayuta at Boundless Trails to get an understanding of the mechanics and localization from publisher NIS America. In its early moments, I was glad to know that I didn't really need any knowledge of the deep history of the Trails series. Instead, I met a new character named Nayuta, whose entire world shifts after meeting a fairy named Noai. Given the time of the game's original release, the plot has a classic adventure vibe to it, where the daily life of a character is shaken up after a fateful event. I much rather prefer these types of experiences because you learn about the world alongside the protagonist who will hopefully share the same curiosity about the world as a player. I mean, at one point in all our lives, I'm sure we've all felt the urge to leave our hometown and see what's out there, and I believe the opening moments of this game provided those nostalgic feelings. What's interesting about The Legend of Nayuta is how it borrows from the developer's other titles including the well-known East series and the niche action series Zwei. In many ways, I'd compare this game closer to Zwei where the adventure closely resembles a cartoonish character design with bright colors and a straightforward action system. I think the overall design of the dungeons and narrative make it resemble East, but it manages to find its own identity in the developer's portfolio. One of the in-game gimmicks allows players to take advantage of the seasons within the levels to get through platforming puzzles and access new magical abilities. This version of the game also includes some updated assets with improved music quality, HD illustrations, and a promise to run at 60fps on PC. For me, the most significant drawing point is that I don't need to know the history of Erebonia to jump into this adventure. All action RPG fans are on an even playing field so that we can approach the series together as a collective fan base. Sure, those hardcore Falcom fans would have likely already played this game years ago, but let's not forget about the more casual gamer or the new gamers needed to carry on the popularity of this series. This is one Trolls adventure that I won't have to play four other games to understand. For that, The Legend of Nayuta Boundless Trails should be your next action RPG, no matter your knowledge of the Trolls series. The Legend of Nayuta Boundless Trails is coming to PlayStation 4. Nintendo Switch and PC via Steam in fall 2023. Thanks for watching. This video is brought to you by our supporters on Patreon. Noisy Pixel is run by a group of gamers providing independent gaming coverage through news, reviews, previews, and more. Check out our Patreon to help support our continued growth and subscribe to keep up with all our future content. Noisy pixel.